Welcome to Survival Gearless video series. Today I'm going to talk about what you do in an emergency when your toilets don't work. And you may say, yeah, that doesn't happen here or in other developed countries, but as recently as 2011, there was a very large earthquake down in Christchurch, New Zealand. And unfortunately, the citizens down there couldn't use their bathroom for up to five months because the sewer system was so damaged. So they had to, you know, use buckets in their bathrooms. And that's basically what you want to do is separate the pee from the poop because when you mix the two that's when you get the very bad smell it's actually the pee component of it that makes it smell very bad um, if you've ever been in one of those portal johns at a concert after a lot of people been in there you know it tends to smell and that's because everything is thrown in together so if you have to do this in your house you want to keep the pee and the poop separate uh, ladies, if you're going number one and, and uh, use the toilet paper after uh, going pee, you got to put that toilet paper over into the poop section. So I'll show you what you, you need to do. Obviously, you want to put a plastic bag inside of the uh, poop container here. That way, it keeps it, uh, you know, when you need to clean it out, you don't have remnants uh, hanging out there. So uh, basically, what you can do is uh, if you are real rustic, you can just throw a couple of wood slats on top of there and boom, you're done. You got yourself an instant toilet. If you want a little more comfort and don't want splinters, uh, you can take the toilet seat right off your uh, old toilet and there you go. You have your uh, portage on all set up, ready to go. Uh, real comforts of home, but you're not done there yet. Uh, what you need to do is uh, after you go number two, you need to put carbon material on top of uh, the poop and that will keep it from one smelling and two attracting bugs so uh, carbon like material are dried up leaves you don't want green grass clippings you want dried up leaves so you're going to put that in there cover up your poop as best you can and then also give it a nice layer of shredded paper on top of that and again that will help keep the odors down and also keep the pest away so, and then when you're done, obviously put the seat down. That will also help keep the, the bugs away. So then with P, you can go and put that down into the sewer system. Or, uh, and in the poop, you can bag that up and either put it in a garbage dump um, or put it out by the corner on, of your house. Now, if you live in an apartment, obviously, uh, you have more of a situation where you're going to use this. Backyard, if you have a backyard and a house, you can just go dig a latrine and, and go back there. But... If you live in an apartment, you're going to have to do this pee and poop containers because uh, you're not going to want to be going up and down stairs or going outside to go to the bathroom. So this is the, uh, the setup that you'd want to do. The city of Portland, for some reason, are, are very into this. So they have a very good guide uh, on how to put together your own sort of pee and poop uh, bathroom. So I will put that uh, those links in, my, uh, in the notes here. Uh, and then if you want to read a blog that I did that was really popular on... Uh, dealing with human waste there's a lot more information in there uh, please go to my website and I'll put a link in that as uh, in the notes as well thanks